of people fishing, so I'm trying a few different things. I don't have them very long. The sun's going down. I've got this little seven foot rod out with um, salted shrimp, uh, glass beads, and uh, some fish bites, clam ones. That's what was working the other day, so we're going to start out with that and see what happens. And I was challenged to uh, put a piece of hot dog. <laughs> and throw it out. So I know that other people have done this before, but I have not. So I'm going to see what happens out here on Flagler Pier. Casting out the hot dog. There was a dude swimming out there. Is he gone? Let's see. Yeah, I think he's gone. He's safe. There goes the hot dog. I could have just dropped it straight down because we're here at the pier. And we got structure right here, but we'll we'll just see what happens. Is that coming out here? I think so. Alright, this lady caught a nice pomp over here. I'm guessing maybe 14 inches. 13, 14 inches. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so my line's got somebody crossed with my line. <laughs> you can see it just being pulled. Straight ahead of me, so we'll see what happens with this. So what do you do about this? Well, in case I get a fish, I'm going to leave it out there. But isn't his hook going to get stuck on your line? He's starting to figure it out. <laughs> I think my line is going to Oh, yeah, I think it is. Alrighty, we'll get this figured out. I think if I go on this side here, I think you'll be alright. Here you go. Yep. I've seen and heard about way too many people's poles go flying over the edge. I like to stick my, I don't know if you see this right here, I like to stick one of these guidelines right up against the, uh, the pier, the side of the pier. So if something pulls on it, it's not just going to go flying over the edge. If you got it sitting like here, I mean, that's just going to move. So look for a notch like this and just stick it up there. Get one of these eyes right up against the side of the pier. That's Pier Fishing Tip 101. And actually, some people actually tie down their their pole. <laughs> they bring bungee cords and they actually tie them to the side of the pier, which is really smart. There's some big fish out here. Okay, so the hot dog was gone. I don't know if it fell off or what, but we're going to... A new piece, and I'm going to just drop it straight down here, right down under the pier. Great thing about pier fishing, all this structure where the fish want to be. Oh, feels like something's pulling. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> what did you do? How did my sinker get all the way up here? <laughs> it just messed it all up. Okay. Uh, I brought the wrong glove. Oh well. It's still protecting. Say goodbye. There he goes. Oh, I think he did a backflip. So I switched things up. The hot dog was not doing a thing, so we abandoned that idea. Over here, I've got this float rig that I'm trying out. It's got like a fake shrimp suspended. I don't have any live shrimp on me, so that wasn't an option. 
We're just gonna see what happens there. It doesn't have any weight on it other than what's on the float rig. And then over here, I've got cut bait. And uh, I had bought uh, five odd hooks yesterday at Bass Pro when we unfortunately got stuck there. Um, so I said, I've got one of those regular rigs with the uh, salted shrimp and then also um, a piece of ladyfish. My friend Chip Runnage, sinker guy, uh, most of you know who he is. He gave me some advice with the ladyfish to chunk it up and just uh, put it out there. Maybe a redfish might enjoy it. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to hold this so I can feel it when it grabs it. playing with it. How bad it wants it. Catfish. <sighs> Why? I didn't want you. Sorry to be mean, but. Hmm. Well, there he is. Little baby catfish. Go away, away. All right, so just talking with some people. Something started pulling. I think we have this. Ah, no, we got a spot fish. We got bait. It's not bad. Spot. There. I'm gonna keep them for bait. So I just want to wrap up real quick. So went out tonight to the pier, not really knowing what to expect, wanting to try a few things, had a friend who was maybe going to meet us out there and he was never able to get out, but that's okay because we had a good time, even though we didn't really like meet total goals. It was last minute, it was low tide, which hasn't been the best for me at Flagler Beach, but we were able to get a few catfish and a little spot fish that I brought home to use for bait next time. So all wasn't lost and we had a good time. So, you know, that's the most important thing when you're going out fishing. Just if you don't really have high expectations, you just you have some things that you want to try maybe. Uh, we tried the hot dogs that didn't really do anything. I tried that new float rig. Probably not the best conditions for it or the best like situation because I was throwing it out as it was turning dark. So. Um, but anyways, we tried some new things. We had a good time. But that's really the most important thing is that you're going out, you're having a good time. Um, my daughter was out there, so I was able to hang out with her while we were out on the pier and let her enjoy. Um, she's been kind of stuck inside with her ankle broken for a long time, so she was able to be outside on the pier. She can't go on the sand yet, but she was able to enjoy the beach from the pier. So that was really cool for her and um, we were able to spend some time together out there and just have fun so that's most important all right till next time we'll see ya mm -hmm.